man named George Asher was found dead in his home. His body was riddled with wounds. His left forearm was mutilated, and his right leg had large stab wounds. His stomach was cut open, and his internal organs were strewn out on the floor. The spoon was in his hand, and the fingerprints on it were his, so it was all put down to self-infliction. That was before police found an audio tape with strange content. I will warn you now that some of you might find this content disturbing and somewhat horrifying. View this transcription at your own discretion. It is early evening in Glenroy, about 6 p.m. I live right near the city of Melbourne, except this area isn't quite so busy. It is the perfect place for me to live. I enjoyed reading a lot of creepy pastas. In particular, Jeff is back. The expressionless and a knock on the window. They were all creepy. Of course, there were a lot of pastas that weren't so good. I'm not going to name any on the account of feelings being hurt. You'll probably find them anyway. And some of you might have different tastes to mine and hate the ones I listed but love the ones I refuse to list. I got a new digital clock today because the old clock I have has seen better days. Plus, it, plus it, it's an antique. So I'll probably end up selling it to some eccentric millionaire. And... Hold on a sec. Someone's here. I'll go see who it is. Wow, you won't believe what just happened. I must say, what an early response it was. A millionaire was just here and gave me $10,000 in cash for the clock. Even better news, it isn't forged money. I'm so excited. I can't believe this is happening. I'm not dreaming. That's for sure. I pinched myself earlier, and I don't have that lightheaded feeling. It is now... 6.24 p.m., and I'm still looking at all this money, wondering how I'm going to spend it. Should I give it to charity? I hate to sound harsh here, but I personally think it would be a waste of money. I know. I should probably go on a, holiday, a good holiday, maybe to America, or maybe to... Maybe I should meet Yamamash, or Markiplier in person, or... Oh, I'm running out of ideas. A good holiday to America sounds good. I'll do that. It is now 6.46 p.m., so I can still book a flight out and a cab, maybe even a hotel. I'll go there for a week, get some fresh air. It is 6.59 p.m., and I booked my flight and cab. Things are so convenient. It must be my lucky day. Wait a sec. What's that on TV? Oh, no. It says that three banks were robbed. One of them two days ago, another yesterday, and one today. And the thief took over a million dollars in cash. It also said that he killed many innocent people in the process. Uh, I have to get out of here. It's okay, George. No panic. You'll be out of here soon enough. They can't pin anything on you. <sighs> Besides, I doubt I'll be getting my antique clock back anytime soon, nor will I get my just amount of money for it, as the thief will probably damage it. Why did the thief want it anyway? Was he just giving me some money to keep me quiet? What the hell? What is this? The clock says 6.62 p.m. Impossible. It must be faulty. I'll get it looked at tomorrow. I'm going to pack my bags. Okay, that's done, and who might that be? Is it the police? Hopefully not, because I wasn't even close to leaving Australia. What? My clock now says 6, 6, 6 p.m. Talk about creepy. I'm silently approaching the door, hoping that if it is the police, they won't hear me. Okay, I'm at the door now. They haven't said anything. I'll just take a peek through the peephole. Oh, crap! Is that me? No, it can't be. It can't be. <laughs> what? What's he doing? He's raising a spoon to his left forearm. Ah! 
What is happening? He stabbed the spoon into his forearm, and there's a wound on my arm where he stabbed his... Wait, wait! He's he's pulling something out of his... Oh, my arm! He's tearing out the muscle. No! Oh, my legs! Stop! Never! Suit yourself. Don't you dare! No! No! Ah! Must get away. What the hell are you? I am insane. Come in. That's impossible. I'm right here at your feet. Lighthearted, click on our video. Rice Krispie Duels, the prelude.